Emotional testimony underway at the state capitol for and against a bill aiming to ban assault weapons. According to nonpartisan research center, The Violence Project, over the last 10 years, assault weapons were used in 45% of U.S. mass shootings, killing 343 people, including the five who died in the Club Q shooting in Colorado Springs last fall. Denver 7's Danielle Kreuter is joining us live now from the Capitol, where that committee is still in session. So, Danielle, you've been there all evening long. Catch us up here. Yeah, you know, testimony is still going on in committee right now, and this after people for and against spoke for hours giving very emotional and passionate testimony. It is of note that the number of people speaking in support of this bill did run out about two hours ago, but throughout the entire day, we heard from hundreds of people. We heard from survivors of school shootings, several in favor of this legislation, but at least two were opposed. Some of the themes that came up multiple times throughout the day was a feeling of frustration from supporters of the bill, hoping to see some sort of change to stop those mass shootings that have become all too common in our community. But there were also feelings of frustration from the oppose those opposing the bill. Many speaking out saying this law would not solve mass shootings and instead would punish responsible gun owners. Universal background checks, a high capacity magazine ban, ex extreme rest protection orders, the safe storage law and the creation of a state office of gun violence prevention. All were supposed to prevent gun violence and mass shootings. What happened? Gun violence in Colorado is the worst it's ever been. An assailant with an assault rifle is able to hurt and kill twice the number of people compared to an assailant with a non-assault rifle or handgun. I must repeat that these guns have no place in the hands of civilians. I too am a favor of responsible gun ownership. There is a way for people who want to have guns to have them safely. Colorado can and should be a leader in this movement to be reasonable about guns and about children's safety, about people who want to go to grocery stores or places of worship. Please support this bill. Now, earlier today, one of the main sponsors of this bill said she may consider amending the bill to ban all bump stocks instead of all assault weapons. That would be a major change from the bill as it's written right now. Any discussions about amendments would happen after testimony is finished, which should be any minute now. We are still listening in and we'll bring you any updates. For now, reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Danielle Kreuter, Denver 7. Yeah, a long day of discussions. Thank you, Danielle. Nearly a dozen states have adopted an assault weapons ban. Most recently, Washington state lawmakers passed a ban today, outlawing more than 50 gun models, including AR-15s. Governor Jay Inslee is expected to sign the bill, tweeting out today the bill will save lives. And Colorado lawmakers have advanced four other gun bills. All four still need to be signed by the governor. They include raising the minimum age, creating a three-day waiting period to buy a gun, and they're also expanding Colorado's red flag law. They want to make it easier as well for victims of gun violence to sue gun manufacturers. And this conversation comes as we approach the 24-year mark of the Columbine High School shooting. 13 lives were <coughs> tragically cut short in that shooting. 20 other people hurt and countless lives changed forever. Columbine students will not be in class tomorrow. Instead, they will be out in the community for a day of service.